and this is going to be the release tutorial for the Mac R dump truck uh, as seen on the career build series. Um, this was built on the career build series so you can watch it being built and uh, so finally uh, you know I think it's about ready to release so let's go ahead and go through it so we'll do a walk around here so we'll start at the driver's door have a mirror that activates when you sit in the seat so it's not burning up your electricity um, it's based off a uh, real Mac R um, dump truck from the 80s um, coming back from there we have our simulated air tanks and step we have our fuel filler um, in real life you would fill the um, driver side tank with this one and you would fill the passenger side tank with the other just for ease of use um, they're cross-linked so you can fill from either side uh, we have a drop axle um, these are used in real life so that when you have a heavy load in the back you can drop the axle and that will support some of the weight of the um, of it and preserve the roads so I'll show the operation of that later uh, two sets of dualies these are um, have XML edited grips so that they perform uh, realistically I'm a truck driver IRL so um, you know I've kind of tuned this to operate how I um, from my experience how the uh, truck would work in real life uh, coming back from there we have simulated mud flaps uh, these have a collision right up here nice and high so um, you know they will um, they will go through the train um, you know a real mud flap would just bend as it touches the ground so um, you know I did this so you don't have to worry about hitting your mud flaps on the ground this is a TTIS enabled um, vehicle so that's tractor trailer integration system so there um, is one and will be more trailers that will function with this so um, you know if you have a T test you need a T test trailer um, to operate with this um, that's a more simulator based more realistic system um, that kind of brings in some realistic elements of truck driving so we'll go through that when I get started so we have um, some RGB lights that um, and indicator lights these are reverse lights these are multi-function uh, brake and turn signal and running lights uh, we have electrical cable anchor that's how you would um, connect to the trailer uh, for TTIS and then you have a simulated pintle with a connector right um, coming around this side there's the other filler we have our um, exhaust stack here we have our simulated um, uh, air intake on this side no mirror on this side um, in real life the mirrors are angled inward and so you can't really get the angles right so I didn't bother with that coming around the front here we have Mac and the grill um, can't really do a good bulldog so I just have a uh, transponder on there a couple of rope anchors for towing let's go ahead and let's open the hood so like in real life you would flip both um, straps on the hood and that would allow you to open it um, as you can see we have a simulated Mac engine in there um, and this comes with my Eaton Fuller 10 speed which is based off my real experience operating that transmission in real life so that um, gives it a proper simulation quality truck experience uh, we have a fire extinguisher behind the seat we have a uh, repair uh, welding torch on the other side behind the seat let's go ahead and jump in and we'll shut the door as you can see once we're in our seat the mirror becomes active and it's um, you know gives us a good view I actually usually use this for uh, reversing uh, we'll go quickly go through the, the dash. We have engine temp, oil pressure, transmission temp, exhaust temp. These are all based off my real experience in trucks and the layout. And so, um, you know, some of these are real, like temp. Some of them are, um, you know, faked. Uh, headlights, as you can see. So let's go through some of the TTIS features. So as you can see, we get running lights. We also get marker lights, um, clearance lights on top. Uh, we have our um, lights there. If I press the S key, we get multifunction brake lights. Uh, they come on, as you can see, they changes intensity. That's part of the TTIS system. Um, we have a directional, so you get both. Um, the directional will work when you're using both uh, running lights and when you're using brake lights. We also have a front directional. Um, back in the 80s, they didn't really have them on the sides yet. Also have a right directional. Uh, that's hazard because they hit both of them. And that's, let me check, uh, three is hazards. I'm hitting the wrong key. So two is uh, right directional. So that way you can kind of uh, play as you're going and uh, RP. All right, so let's go back in. Under that, we have dome light. So um, it's a simulated dome light. We also have an underfloor backlighting so that at night it's a little bit easier to see in here. 
Um, so when you turn on your headlights, that will automatically put a little bit of a bloom inside the cabin. Uh, we have, I'll go over this when we get outside. This is dump body, gear to neutral, switch on, above 1,000 to raise. So this is uh, based off of how real dump trucks work. So the way a real dump truck works is there's a PTO, a power takeoff, off of the engine, and it turns a hydraulic pump. And so the hydraulic oil goes uh, from the sump through the motor, or through the pump rather, and it goes to the hydraulic pistons, and that pushes up the dump body. And so the faster you spin up the engine, the faster the hydraulic pump fills, the faster the piston fills, and the faster the body goes up. And so um, you want it neutral because you don't want to be moving while you're doing it. You can raise it while you're moving, but you really don't want to. So um, that's the whole neutral part. And uh, I'll show you that. Then I'll, if you flip the switch down, um, in real life the way it works is all you're doing is opening up the um, return valve on the cylinder. The weight of the dump body is pushing down on the cylinder, and it pushes all that oil back to the sump. So that has a realistic function. It, it raises realistically, and it lowers realistically. Um, underneath that, we have drop axle. So if I click on my drop axle, I, I need to power up first. Let's power up. So we have a key starter, tack. Speed of the tack is faked so that the uh, RPM numbers look realistic. Let's go ahead and drop the axle. As you can see, we have two drop axles. Those will automatically go down and lock, and uh, those offer um, you know, just more pressure on the ground. All right, so we'll raise the drop axle. Um, we have speed over here. Over here is all the TTIS equipment. If you have any other TTIS equipment, you'll notice that is um, familiar. We have trolley brake. Trolley brake operates the um, trailer. Um, if you look on the driver's seat controls, space is also the trolley brake. So often when you're driving, you want to operate just the, just the trailer brakes. So you can either tap space with your thumb or you can press this trolley. So this is mostly for RP. and um, In real life, they're either on the, the column here or they're up on the dash. Um, on the Mac Pinnacle I drive, it's up on the dash. You also have some that are on the column, especially older trucks. They tend to be on the column. So you can use either space or that to activate just the trailer brakes. Uh, to the right of that, we have a jake brake. A uh, jake brake is an engine brake. So what it does is, in real life, um, it essentially turns the engine into a big compressor. And so when you're going down hills especially, uh, you don't want to overheat your brakes. So what it does is on the compression stroke, instead of um, putting fuel in the cylinder and igniting it, it allows the fuel to com uh, allows the air to compress, and then it opens up the exhaust valve and lets that compressed air go out, and so that helps you slow down. So that gives you a little bit of a braking effect. That's nice because you can one essentially one finger drive when you're going down a hill. You can just tap W. You don't have to worry about using your brakes when you're going down a hill with a heavy trailer that's trying to push you. So all you do is turn that on when you're um, accelerating with W. You get no jake brake, just like in real life when you let off your foot let your foot off the accelerator in real life or W in game, um, that will apply the jake brake. So that's just clicked on or off. That's how it is in real life. Often you have multiple stages. Part of the T-test system is, um, and this is how real tractor trailers or, you know, um, dump trucks will work, um, you know, class B dump trucks. Um, on your right, you supply um, air to the brakes on your, um, on your power unit, in this case the dump truck, that releases the brakes and it is colored yellow IRL, that's why it's yellow here. And then if we had a trailer, we could press that and that would release the brakes on the trailer. So if you have a T-Test trailer, you require this system on the tractor or the power unit, um, in this case, in order to be able to release the brakes on the trailer, just like in real life. So since we don't have a trailer, all we need to do is release the tractor. So this yellow one will do that. This is a simulated doghouse. Um, in real life, the, the remainder of the cylinders um, tend to have flat motors, so or um, inline motors, so they tend to pop into the cab a little bit. Uh, we have my Eaton Fuller 10-speed transmission. Um, this comes with a, it's a manual transmission. Um, as far as I'm concerned, as a professional truck driver, all trucks should be manuals. <laughs> The way you can tell where your gear position is by looking at the um, at the shifter, you shift with the up and down arrows on your keyboard, so you can keep your left hand on the keyboard and your right hand on the keyboard and actuate your your gears. So let's quickly uh, let's shut off the headlights, seeing it's bright out, and uh, let's start going forward. So I'm gonna press W. All right. So this truck is again designed to be um, like a you know a simulation quality or grade truck. Um, I drive. You know, trucks IRL, so I 
a little bit particular about it. So as you can see, our attack is, is going to go up and it's going to pretty much max out. It does this in real life. You get up there and it, it won't go any further. And so in first gear, which we are, we're going to go five miles an hour. It's a 10-speed transmission. We press uh, one up. As you can see, the shifter goes into the correct position. We get seven miles an hour. Third gear is good for about 10. Fourth is good for about 12. Fifth is good for um, 15. Going to sixth gear, we're good for about 22. Seventh is going to be 27. Um, eighth, uh, we start getting into much longer um, smaller gears, we get into 41. Um, we're in ninth gear now, so we're going up around 60 miles an hour. And if we go into 10th gear, we'll go in excess of 70 miles an hour, as you can see. So this is um, based off of the real truck that I drive. I did testing to find the exact speeds of where um, it would operate. And this operates um, realistically. So I'd normally be running around 1400 RPM in 10th gear on the highway and so this is all set up to be very realistic. Um, the way you can tell where your gear position is, let's go over gear position. I'm going to slam the brakes here really quick. Alright, and so uh, let's quickly walk through the gears and I'll show you the gear pattern. Uh, you can tell where the gears are based on the gear pattern. So right now we're in neutral. Neutral is straight up in the middle. If I go up one, we're in first. First is back and to the left. Second is uh, forward to the middle. Third is all the way back in the middle. Fourth is up and to the right. Um, fifth is all the way back and to the right. Now, the way these big truck uh, transmission work transmissions work is there's essentially two transmissions next to each other. You have a low range box which is gears 1 through 5 and you have a high range box which is gears um, 6 through 10. And so once you reach 5, when you go to 6, you, you, uh, you click a range selector. It's usually down here. Um, and it flips the box over to the uh, high range side, so you press up on the gear again, and it comes back and to the left again, uh, rearward. Seven is forward middle, eight is uh, back middle, nine is uh, forward right, and tenth is um, right and all the way back. So you can walk yourself through the gears. Um, you know, once you get to the center, you know you're in neutral, and then you can you know you're in reverse when you hear the backup alarm. All right, so we're in reverse now. Reverse is forward left. The only forward left is reverse. And we actually have two speeds of reverse. Remember, we have two transmissions next to each other. We have the low range box and the high range box. You also have low range reverse and high range reverse. High range reverse is almost never used. Um, low range reverse, let's show you how fast low range goes. So especially often you're gonna be backing up to a trailer or you're gonna be backing up to an area to dump, um, in this case, coal. So this is the low range box. If I press down again, I'm going to go into high range reverse. So, so the nice thing about having a manual gearbox is this, you know, as I showed you when we were going up, you know that first gear you're only going to go 5 miles an hour. So if you're trying to do some real precise maneuvering with a trailer, you know it's only going to go up to 5 miles an hour. Same thing as if you're back in a trailer, this, this will keep you nice and slow. Um, now let's go down one and we'll go into high range reverse. And as you can see, we can go nice and fast. So uh, high range reverse is nice and fast in case you need to back up quickly. But this is going to make it much harder to um, operate a trailer um, like that. Uh, if we look at the top, we have some um, spotlights and simulated air horns as well. So uh, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to get out in the sunlight and we will. Um, I'll show you how the dump body works. And we'll just follow that and we should be good to go. And I'll quickly just... Um, I'll show you how to connect this to uh, the trailer um, that I have for it when I release that trailer. All right, so we're just going to stop here, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to um, set my brake. I'm going to follow the instructions, so I put it in neutral. All right, so let's look at our instructions. Dump body, gear neutral. So we're in neutral, straight up and down. And if, you, if you're struggling to find neutral, go all the way down to reverse. And then go up until it sits in the middle. All right, um, so we're in neutral. We're going to turn our switch on, okay, and we're going to rev up to over a thousand. So all you have to do is press W as hard as it will go. So we can go on the outside. I'm going to hold it, hold the W key. You'll hear the engine rev up, and that's how it will work in real life. The more you rev, the more pressure it puts in the cylinders, the more likely it's going to push up. Um, now, because this, um, I don't have any coal in the back here. If we look at the funnel, there's a funnel in the back here. The funnel is true. 
So this works like a real dump body. As soon as it gets to um, this, you know, the door is simulated to just uh, free float as they do in real life. And as soon as it gets to a certain height, uh, I think, believe it's max height, it's going to automatically open the funnel. And so that's when you're going to dump your coal. So you'd want to back up to whatever you, wherever you want to dump it, and then you go through that procedure. Um, again, the way this works in real life is when you flip the switch back down, it's opening the valve. And so all that's happening is it's allowing the hydraulic, it, the weight of this dump body is pushing on the cylinder. It's allowing the hydraulic fluid to run via, um, so it would be in this section right here. It's allowing the hydraulic fluid to go up through the, um, the hose again and down into the sump. So um, if I press this down, you can see how it realistically slowly goes down. That's how they, that's about the speed they go IRL. So this is the Mac R dump truck. Um, it's uh, been using it quite a bit on the career build series and uh, going to be putting it on the workshop. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the um, comments. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing, and we'll see you later.